So, um, do you prefer me calling you the delegate here? No. Okay. I don't. No. I prefer you calling me Lorig. <laughs> eating my house, eating my pie. Yes. All of that. <laughs> um, Hello everyone who lives in State District 20, Maryland, which means you likely live in White Oak, Silver Spring, or Tacoma Park. This video is for you, because we knocked your door, and you privately shared with us on a microphone what you wanted our representatives to work on. So here is the response back from one of your state representatives, Delegate Lorig Sharkudian. Okay, somebody talked about animal rights and was very passionate about it, talked about animal safety and well-being yeah. of animals, um, farm and not farm, and I'm gonna just... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, I'll talking. say this. I'm not sure, I don't think this is what the person was talking about, but I do have a bill coming in to ban the declawing of cats. Wow. Yes, it's very cool. Do you know how declawing works? They I don't, no, I cut. don't. I didn't either until one of my constituents raised this issue with me, so they... Um, it's not like clipping your nails, it's like taking your fingernails off, right? Okay. So that, that's, like, that's the best, yes. Lord. And so people do it, you know, to protect their furniture or whatever, but it's just horrible for the cats. And then what ends up happening is the cats don't like to uh, go to the bathroom in the litter box because it hurts them to, hurts and so then they're lot. less likely to use litter boxes and then they're yes. more likely to end up uh, being given away to shelters. And so there's a lot more declawed cats. Oh my gosh, in I the, Yeah, know that. so... So that is, that's the one animal rights uh, bill that I have this year, or animal cruelty or anti-animal cruelty bill that I have this year. You're stopping the cat to shelter pipeline. Yes, that's right. <laughs> um, so if this constituent is interested in that, I'm happy to, you know, share information with them, how they can get involved and so on. Um, yeah. I'm sure they were really passionate. They were like, I can speak for my family. Maybe they would. Yeah, yeah. That'd be, you know, and then the issue was raised to me. And, and I will say this. You know, not everything that gets gets raised is a is a mm -hmm. uh, something that, that needs legislation or that legislation mm -hmm. can address. Of course. Yeah. Um, and you know, like in some cases, just back to where we started with the state highway administration. You know, it's just holding an agency accountable for putting right. in the crosswalks and the right. you know, like there's that we can't pass a law to paint a crosswalk there, no. but we can the law's there. stay it's on top right. of that right. So, um, but I but. Uh, but I do, I also, I, I just would say that I'm very open to, in this particular declawing mm -hmm. b bill that I've got coming in, came from a constituent who, who asked me to put it in, and, um, and, that, and that's why I'm putting it. So I, you know, as people think of things that do end up needing state legislation, yeah. I'm happy to do that. I'll just also mention there's, I think that there's a bill coming in related to factory farming in Maryland. Oh, okay. Um, and I don't know the details of it. I have spoken to a delegate who might be putting it in. And I think Food and Water Watch might be the advocacy group who's working on it. Um, and uh, and I just, you know, we'll find out what the bills are in January. I mean, some of them we know are coming, but in January, you know, there's 3,000 bills that we listen to in 90 days. So just for context, uh... it is, it's intense. It's like drinking from a fire hose. Um, <laughs> but uh, so I think that there will be a, a factory farming bill and... and um, you know, we'll try to make sure if that's something that this, this constituent is interested in, that, that we can get them that information, because they may be interested in doing advocacy yeah. around that yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you wanted to end on your MGA note. Oh, oh yeah, so if folks don't know, the General Assembly session starts. So a lot of people, to your point, like don't necessarily know kind of what our work looks like, and so we have a 90-day session where we consider 3,000 bills, somewhere between 2,500 and 3,000. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's intense, but uh, but here's what I will say about it. Because of that, mm -hmm. and we all have you know one staff person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're part time off session, full time during session. It's a it's a ton of work, and it is. And so what I like to stress for constituents is how important their involvement is. I think people think a lot about um, the federal government. You know, that's that's what we kind of see more in the news, but um, people aren't always thinking about how much actually does get affected by state government policies. Yeah. And, states um, can guarantee rights. Huh? States can guarantee rights. Yes. And, and people need to come and ask for what they want. So I'm thrilled to have this podcast. I also want, um, uh, would encourage people to, uh, you know, if, they, if people were willing to get on my email list, um, I do send weekly updates of like what's happening in session. What's going on. Right. It's at the beginning of the session, it's weekly, and then maybe it's like more like a week and a half. I was just, just comparing the other <laughs> updates I get from other legislators. I was like, weekly is impressive. Just, just during session. Not just like people session. don't necessarily okay. want to hear from me weekly off session. But during session, just because things are I mean, moving so <laughs> fast. Thank you. My Facebook is for that. Um, but, so, um, 
but uh, so, but I also would encourage people to uh, just come to Annapolis. We do so District Twenty. We do a District Twenty night, and maybe you could like let folks you know that you're connecting to. So we do District oh, Twenty yeah, night, yeah. and I've arranged. Last year we arranged transportation. So some people drive, but then yeah. we also arranged like last year we did pickups in Big carpools and stuff. Uh, we actually paid for vans to pick people up. We had people up in White Oak. It's a pickup in White Oak in Four Corners and in Tacoma Park, I think, is where we ended up doing it. You guys had a grant for that, or you guys pulled your money? No, we paid for it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. We feed people, too. (laughs) You know, so come to Annapolis. And I think one of the things that I want people to see is just kind of how... Except, like you should know where laws are getting made that affect your life and say come and take a look and then people will come they'll have dinner we'll talk and then um, usually we do it on a Monday night and Mondays Monday nights we have session at night so people can then watch from the gallery and see like the session taking place yeah. and um so that also any other time if people want can get themselves to Annapolis during session my uh office it, you know come say hi and yeah i have snacks for everyone in my office. <laughs> do? Coffee. Yeah. i do i do yeah that's yeah. good yeah. <laughs> but um you know if people are interested in working on an issue they care about it's like i think it's really important i think it's um i think that they're you know as with any government body paid lobbyists and corporate influence it's just very easy you know people have folks there full-time doing their lobbying for them yeah. and, and residents can also show up and tell their reps what they care about, but mm-hmm. it's harder to do that. Sure. And so, whenever I have a chance to encourage people to do that, I like to I like yeah. to do that. Come, yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah. And we can also, like I said, uh, like you said, actually, and asked. It's it's easy for us to give information at the door and just be like, yeah, you can take this right to them if you have something. Yeah. 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 So if, I'll give you some cards, actually. Yeah. You, leave. Yes, You're welcome please, to yeah. hand people my card. And, and again, like as we talked about, some of the things are like county issues or whatever. I mean, we'll not necessarily have a solution to everything, but mm-hmm. we'll direct. We won't. We won't leave people hanging. That's cool. Yeah.